Hey, good afternoon, everybody. All right, we're back with it. We're going to keep this video rolling. Uh, there's my uh, rolling cultivators I took back off the tractor. I'm planning on just leaving them on these two, two bars. and I'm sure I'll make some adjustments as things go on, but hopefully I won't have to uh, change everything over when I go back. When I go back to take my cultivators off, go back to my healers, I'll just drop the cultivators off. Did it up with an extra set of two bars to put on it. Got a few more feed out there on the pallet. Got two more here I can do something with. Which if I ended up with some rolling sweeps, I could see a mountain of rolling sweeps on these two with a couple little old two bars and just leaving them just like they are. But I got my cultivators on the tractor. Got me uh, six feet in the front. Uh, got me a uh, big old sweep in the back there. Got out in the garden the other day. I'll show you where I'm at in the garden. This yeah, is my first year with a farm all tractor, so it, it's been a learning experience. It's a, it's, it's a fair amount of trouble to get all these things on, get them adjusted right, and angles and everything. Uh, but it really done pretty good. Took me a little while getting, getting where they were all digging and you know, like these back ones, they seem like they're just got a real strong down angle, but by the time when you let them down, they level out a good bit. So they're not near as steep an angle as you think they are. The biggest problem I had with them, they just kept running flat. I mean, they were just sitting down on the ground. They'd, they'd move a little bit of dirt around, wouldn't, wouldn't really dig nothing. I finally got them where they'd dig, and I was real pleased with it. There's my old container garden. It's doing good. I'm gonna get jalapenos coming in there strong. We got tomatoes. Can't believe this little jalapeno is doing so well in these little small containers. I mean, I really, it's just something I hadn't planted yet, you know the truth, but <laughs> they're growing on up. These tomatoes looking good. See those two are the orange Wellingtons. These are the big, big mm, rainbows. Yeah, I got a lot of little buds on a couple little tomatoes. And then we get over here to our big daddies. I uh, guess supposed to produce some big tomatoes. We'll just have to see. And then we got these little black cherries. They producing. I feel like pretty soon we'll have us some uh, we'll have us some tomatoes in here. Got some peppers coming in. Kind of curious about this one. This is called a Greek pepperoni. It's just a, a little different pepper than the rest of them. And, uh, it'll be all right. The rest of them kind of look like just a variety of a bell. These little things here are doing good. These garden, garden of favorites. Which I thought they were all gardener favorites when I put them here, but I think probably these were the uh, hybrid 100s. They're just a totally different plant, I can tell that. And I was all I had was hybrid 100s and uh, gardener favorites. They're looking good. They're, they're cherry tomatoes, too, all these are. All right, let's walk out here to the garden. Picked me up a little old tent frame yesterday on Marketplace for 50 bucks. Stuck it together last night, just piddling around. Come with everything but the uh, height poles. I cut them eight foot. Seemed like to me they were gonna be way too long. Just to make it difficult to assemble. Uh oh, look like Buster's gonna help. You coming along, Buster? Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go see what we got going on out here. Garden looking pretty good. Hadn't had any deer or anything in it yet. We'll uh, try to take a quick tour. Yeah, I dug up three or four ears of corn right here. Just run right over my plow. That's pretty, isn't it? 
Yeah, I know we've been watching the channel for a while. This is the first year I've done anything with a farm all. So it's been a learning experience. I've enjoyed it. I'll show you a couple of the mistakes I made. That, uh, you know, I have to work out next year. Can't do much without this year. I want to just plant them in rows too far apart. If you, uh, yeah, uh, I think this in here is about right. Yeah. Big old uh, point on the back. Big old plow point on the back. It kind of went down the middle of the row. Left one and right one just kind of went down the middle of the row. That was good. That row was probably fairly close. Probably could stand and be a few inches closer. I don't think I had to point at the right angle on that one. But that row is a little wide. And this in here is probably the closest one to perfect out here. Cause the, cause the point on the back come right down the middle of this row. And then when I turned around and went back, the other one was run down the middle of the row. So that was great. But I started to get off. You can see how this one's over here and this one would have been over here. That, that row just changed the width. And this one here looked like it may be about a foot off. So I ended up making my rows just too wide, which it worked out okay. I mean, I had plenty of room, so that was not really an issue. It just, I just didn't space my rows out properly. May leave a little gap between my corn that, that doesn't get cultivated, which means I might have to run a little tiller down through it. I had to go borrow my father-in-law's Troy Bill horse and run down the middle of the weeds get too thick in the middle. It's looking good though. I'm liking it. And yeah, we'll go there and check this other garden. We got that one over yonder that's coming on along. It's, the only thing I'm really gonna do over there is let the uh, cucumbers come on up. That's where it's in the middle of the garden where two big old trees were at. I took down 11 trees this year. You can almost tell exactly where they were now. I mean, one of them was right here. There were two of them over yonder. One of them's kind of below the garden. One of them's in it. Uh, one over yonder, one over here. But, you know. And we're back over here looking at a squash now. It's coming on along. Yesterday there was no sign of squash on here. And now we got squash. I say for the end of the week, we'll be picking squash. And then after that, it's nearly every day you're picking squash. And you got more squash than you know what to do with. And you're cutting it and cutting it and cutting it and putting it up. And you're eating. Okra, it's it's coming on along. I'm, I mean, it's sticking up six eight inches out through there. It's it's doubled in size in the last two few days. About three rows of it. And these his corn and beans over here is coming on up. Just gonna let these beans grow up these stalks. See how that works out. But that's my garden this year. Using the farm all tractor. In the past, this, this garden here has been about the only garden I've ever planted on a yearly basis. Most of the time I've just been measuring and staking it out. And yeah, we got a little tiller on the back of the tractor, run through it a few times. And, and this here, you might find this instrument, but I actually made this little old kind of a push plow. And I'd go through there and make a row. Just grab this old thing like that. Just push it through there. And make a little old row. Drop my seed in a drop my seed in a row and come back with a rake and rake it over. 
keep it clean with a tiller. I mean, that's worked pretty good the last few years. We well, picked up this little farm off. And just thought it'd be a, a good little addition to, to farming. So I, you know, I guess I'm growing. I'd be three, four times the garden. I mean, I guess this corn field is it's good three times bigger than that little field down yonder. Uh, there's another area that next year I may clean off and plant. We're just going to see how it goes. Uh, don't do potatoes. Uh, whatever reason, we just don't eat a lot of potatoes. Um, probably will just pick up, you know, a few sack, sack of potatoes once or twice a year, and that's about it. But we'll eat the corn, we'll eat the okra, we'll eat the squash, tomatoes. I'm hoping to do something different with tomatoes this year. Most time it's just been eat what we grow and give away some. And this year I'm hoping to maybe put up some tomato paste, maybe make some salsa. I want to do something with it. But we'll just have to see how it all goes. It's a lot of fun growing a garden when it's, uh, you know, it's, Winter time's breaking, you got some nice days. Boy, it feels good to be outside in the sunshine. You out here digging and planting, and you just enjoying it, and just enjoying each day. But then when it gets up to about 95 degrees, and uh, you know, you're out here gnats in your eyes, sweating. Hey, it, it, it's a, it can be kind of rough out here. Huh? And you know, it's the south, the humidity is always 90, 95% around here. But anyways, it's coming on along. Hope you're liking what we're doing here and we'll just keep watching this old garden grow and we'll bring you along on the next little uh, next little thing I get in the middle of. I'm trying to think what is next. I don't know, I got a lot of things going on. Between putting that boy's truck back together. And I'm gonna spend two days this week mowing grass, I can tell you that right now. Uh, Got quite a few little old projects going on. I'm just trying to think which ones y'all might actually be interested in. But all right, thanks for watching, like, and share, and we will uh, we will uh, get back to you in a day or two.